everybody, welcome back to my channel. And for today, we're gonna make a lamb kodo souvli with a beautiful olive oil from Kidonakis. For the ingredients, we're gonna need 1.5 kg of lamb shoulder without bones, one onion, two bell peppers, one tomato, oregano, salt, black pepper, olive oil, Kidonakis, one pita bread, and edible flowers. Okay, let's start. Actually, I have made already my pita bread in the previous episode, then you can find it there. It's a homemade and it's a beautiful flavor. Then we have some beautiful products today and I would like to talk a little bit about that. Then I have this beautiful olive oil, this amazing oregano, rock salt and all the ingredients. They came straight from Greece to Dubai. And you can see here this beautiful like company, they have this beautiful product here in Dubai. Let's start how we're gonna do the recipe. It's very, very easy. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it at the home. You can make with different, different things. As like you can do with different meat and you can add more spices, however you like, you can do it. For me, I have grated the tomato and I'm gonna add my meat. I have this bell pepper. I will gonna add the onion, my paprika, the beautiful oregano. Smell very nice, amazing. I love that black pepper. Then we're gonna add all the ingredients. Then we're gonna marinate. Now for your home, I prefer for you like to do one day in advance, keeping the chiller. Let everything, all the flavors come out properly and have perfect taste. And you can see, we put a little bit of the salt. How I say now, if you like a little bit more extra, you know, Kondo Souvli is good. You can have like some glass of wine on the side, some non-alcoholic wine. This is depend about you and how you like it. Then we have add all the ingredients in the mixer and what I will do, I will put this beautiful, smelly, amazing olive oil. Guys, this olive oil is one of the best olive oil you can find in Greece and it's coming from Creton Island. It's like beautiful. Very good. Then we're gonna mix all of our ingredients together and you can see how beautiful it look like. And like, I'm sure you will gonna love this recipe. It's very, very easy recipe. And you know, like in Greece, they're doing all the year, but usually they do at the Easter time. And you can find, but you can find all the year. Then I prefer to do all the year. It's something very nice. Then what we're gonna do, I will gonna do in my oven. My oven is pit. I will put in the speed. My oven is split around and it's gonna be perfect. Then what we're gonna do, as you can see here, we have this beautiful, Think here and we're gonna start to put piece by piece. Okay, very good. And look at that. Smell beautiful, guys. I love that. Today, my kitchen is gonna be very, very dirty because of the marination everywhere around. And this is the reason what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take. I have. Okay, I have to heat my oven. Now, if you're home, you have the speed, you just make sure, and you have the charcoal, and these days, you just put it there, and you will not have any problem. Then you will just open the fire two areas, two hours before, then you will gonna have to cook for three hours, approximately, you know, when you have the charcoal. Now in my oven, it will gonna take only 45 minutes and to one hour max. This is depend about what meat you will gonna use. I will gonna use lamb, then it's perfect and it can cook properly in 45 minutes max. Look at that, guys. And if you like, actually, you can put some slice around, like we will keep the marination on the side. And what I want to say for you is like, this beautiful stuff, wow. 
smell beautiful guys look at that have this beautiful kodosovli then if you like to put a slice of veggies you can pass a few slices of veggies in I prefer to blend because sometimes also you know the kids or some people they don't really really like to see the bell peppers or the onion then you just what you do is you just blending how I blend and marination the flavor can go everywhere then you can see what I'm doing I'm spitting up then like I have a small spit in my apartment then it's almost there and I will gonna put one tray below with a little bit of water in my oven then the water will gonna help for a moisturize and to don't be very very dry right let's go then as you can see I will take my tray my oven is preheat 200 degree I will gonna cook for the first 30 minutes in 200 perfect make sure we give space enough and make sure you tie properly here because you're gonna spit around. You can see, now it's spitting properly and we have no problems at all. The marination, you know, we're gonna add a little bit more here. When we'll put in and all the other marination I we're gonna put in my tray. Now, please prefer to keep that one day in advance in your chiller to marinate, you know, and to be very, very flavory. I will go in my oven and I'm gonna put in the oven to start the cooking. Beautiful, as you can see, it's turning around. I'm gonna add in my marination down and we start to cook. See how easy recipe, how beautiful and easy recipe you can have. And at your home, just make sure you make and you will tell me you don't have spit at the home, no problem. Marinate properly, keep it at the tray, slow cook and make sure it's going to be very, very tasty. I promise you this, this recipe is a very, very traditional recipe they're using everywhere around the Greece and you can have a beautiful flavor. Most spices you like, you can add more spices. You like butter or something like that, you can do. But I prefer to put olive oil, it's more healthy. 45 minutes later, guys, you know, this beautiful kodosuvli is ready, then I'm ready to serve. But how I'm gonna start is, I'm gonna put my pan and let's grill a little bit the pita bread. It's almost ready, actually, then I will just I'm ready, I will just take my pita bread, you can see this beautiful is almost done. I will just warm it up, a little bit grill, last minute with a little bit of olive oil, more. And let's go to serve this beautiful kodosuvli, let's see what we have done, okay. Amazing, like smell beautiful. My apartment is full of smoke, but no problem because we have this beautiful kodosuvli and everybody of you, you will gonna do this beautiful recipe. It's amazing, easy, marinate for the last day, how we say before, and let's see we have what we have done. Oh my God. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this, wow, I love this flavor and the color is perfect, it's too hot, sorry. Look at this guys, what we have done here, this beautiful kodosuvli. Look how easy it is to make at your apartment and like to have this beautiful color and taste, I'm sure it's, it's already smell beautiful. Mm. Believe me, try the lamb kodosuvli, you will gonna love it. Wow, I love that. Then, how are we gonna do? Our pita bread is almost ready. Yes. And what I will do is, I will put my pita bread here. As you can see, smell nice. It looks beautiful. And we'll just take it out that. 
and I will start to serve on the top of the pita bread. Oh my God, this is, wow. It's like, guys, just do it in your apartment. Just any time you can do it. This is like amazing recipe, smell very nice. Just marinate, lamb kodo souvli. It's one of my favorite actually, the lamb for the kodo souvli. It smells very nice and it's wow. I love this recipe. Just everybody do it. And a little bit of the marination on the top. Oh my God. Guys, look at this beautiful kodosuvli, what we have done. I will finish it with a little bit of oregano on the top and obviously a little bit of rock salt. I have two edible flowers. A little bit black pepper actually. And my new edible flowers just arrived. I'm so happy. I always love edible flowers. In my dish is giving color and now if you cannot find edible flowers, not a big deal. But I always prefer to show you something beautiful like that. Wow. Guys, and what we do our last minute is a little bit of olive oil. Kidonakis olive oil, this beautiful Greek olive oil you can find in Dubai. Just text me below, you can find, and I will let you know where you can find this beautiful olive oil. And if you want to make tzatziki or something like this, you can also make it. And look at that. This beautiful kodosuvli. You need 45 minutes in your oven. You need a little bit, how we say, like we marinate for the last night. We put in tiller, we have this amazing, beautiful kodosuvli. And we are here. We are done. I hope you like my recipe. I'm Chef Sperjo. Subscribe to my channel for new recipes and try this recipe, it's very easy. Kiss, big hug. See you soon in my next recipe. Thank you, you watching us.